Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Kaylee and today's class is a 30 minute sculpt plus flow. So this is one of my signature formats where we do a really strong dynamic vinyasa flow and weave in Pilates and other strength based exercises into it so that we get a feel good full body workout and step off the mat feeling strong. This is not traditional yoga, so if that's what you're looking for, you could try one of my creative vinyasa classes or power vinyasa or my feel good flows, but this is more of a workout, so don't come for me in the comments if you're not looking for a workout when you take this class. We are not going to use any equipment unless you like a block or a strap or something like that close by, and there's a Spotify playlist down below if you like music. We're starting on our back today, so I will meet you there. Facing the top of your mat and lowering down onto the back body. Let the head rest. Walk the feet about as wide as the mat and let the knees turn in towards each other. Taking a few moments to center, ground, and arrive in your space. Eyes are closed, face is soft. Feeling the weight of the body. Connect to the floor, to the ground underneath you. And start to notice the flow of the breath. What do the inhalations and the exhalations look like today? What do they feel like? And whatever that answer is, know that you'll have the opportunity to feel a wide range of sensations, emotions, feelings in the next 30 minutes during this class. So can you make your intention to be present and experience everything that is here for you today? On your next inhale, sweep the arms overhead. You can keep the eyes closed here. And then slide one leg at a time towards the top of the mat. Find a full body stretch, reaching the fingertips away from you, pointing the toes. And then take your left hand onto your right wrist. Walk your feet over to the left as you cross right leg over. And then find a side bend towards the left. Big stretch through the whole right side body. And then from here, release the grip of the left hand and we'll just roll all the way over onto our left side. Use your left arm as a pillow, reach your right hand down your right side body and then bend into your right knee to take hold. Kick the foot into the hand as you find a stretch through the front of the quad, the hip flexor. And then as you come onto your back, draw your right knee into your chest, capture it with the hands, pull it in towards the right shoulder, and then twist right knee over to the left as you gaze to the right. On your inhale, make your way back through center, sweep the arms overhead as you reach the right leg long. And then we'll switch sides, right hand to left wrist, left leg crosses over right, and then find a big side bend towards the right. Switching through left side body, you can continue inching to make a C, deepening through the stretch. And then release the hand, roll all the way over onto the right side as your left arm sweeps down the left side of the body, use the right arm as a pillow. Bend into the left knee, capture the foot and kick. Opening up through left hip flexor and quad. And then as you roll onto your back, draw left knee into the chest, capture it with both hands and then twist left knee to the right as you gaze to the left. And then move back through center, pulling the knees into the chest. 
Let's kick the legs up to the sky. Hands come behind the back of the head. We'll start with some core work today. Just some crunches. Lift up, lower down. Your modification here is to bend the knees to a tabletop or take the feet all the way flat on the ground. And that's for you to decide, right? You know your body best. So what expression of this shape will allow you to get the deepest into your core while maintaining alignment. Chin is away from the chest, elbows wide. You're gently pressing the head into the hands. Good, let's keep it lifted. Lower the right leg down to a hover, then lift it back up, switch. Left leg, then lift, beautiful, right and lift, switch, left, and lift. A couple more, right, and lift, left, and lift. Keep going, right, and lift, left, and lift. One more each side, right, and lift. Last one, left, and lift. Beautiful, just that crunch. Lower down, crunch, lower, crunch. <sighs> Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Nice. I'm definitely feeling my core already. Let's do four, three. We'll hold the head, neck, and shoulders up. Find a straight leg bicycle right here. Twist right as you lengthen the left leg. Come back through center and switch. Twist left and center, switch. And center, switch. And center, awesome job. Your modification is bent knees or picking one knee up into the chest. Beautiful. Couple more. One more each side, right, left, hold it center, little pulses. Try to keep the head, neck, and shoulders up. Last push for four, three, two, one. Beautiful, drop the head, pull the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then drop the feet to the mat. Hands come down by the sides, inhale, lift into your bridge pose. Hands come underneath to interlace as you press the hips up to the sky and open through the belly. Should feel so good after that core sequence. Beautiful, gently release. Pull the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug, maybe rock side to side a few times, massaging the spine. And then eventually rock up to a seat. Cross the ankles, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Send the hips to the sky, lengthen through the spine, bend into one knee at a time. Starting to breathe into the posterior chain or backside of the body. Next inhale, lift the heels off the mat. On your exhale, step top of the mat. Halfway lift, big breath in. Forward fold, breath out. Inhale, rise to stand. Sweep the arms up at the top. On your exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Inhale, reach the fingers high. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha, halfway lift, lengthen the spine, fingers to shins or by the feet. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank to Chaturanga, option to lower to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Two more breaths before we pick up the pace a bit. Use this as a moment to pause, to clear. Beautiful, next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, sweep up. Exhale, cactus the arms, lean back. Inhale, reach the fingers high. 
exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plant the hands step back chaturanga upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog deep breath in deep breath out inhale lift the heels exhale travel top of the mat inhale halfway exhale fold inhale chair pose bend into the knees as you sweep the fingers up to the sky exhale to sink low take a deep breath in breath out uttanasana forward fold inhale halfway exhale step or float chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog inhale right leg to sky exhale step forward crescent lunge inhale to rise exhale to plant the hands kick the right leg back one-legged plank pull right knee to right elbow kick it back switch left elbow kick it back one-legged chaturanga inhale exhale down dog left leg high step forward inhale to rise crescent lunge exhale to plant the hands kick the left leg back one-legged plank pull left knee in kick it back pull it in right elbow inhale kick it back exhale one-legged chaturanga upward facing to downward facing dog great work deep breath in and deep breath out two more breaths here inhale and exhale last one deep breath let it go walk the hands back one step take your left hand to your right shin ankle or heel take a big breath in on your breath out can you twist and gaze up underneath your right shoulder inhale release left hand switch exhale right hand to left shin ankle or heel take a deep breath in as you lengthen the spine on the breath out bend the right elbow and twist try to pull your chest through towards the left beautiful release right hand to the mat keep this shorter down dog we'll find pike push-ups so bend the elbows out to the sides like you want to tap the crown of the head on the mat and then straighten the arms lift back up bend the elbows straighten so the heels will lift as you bend a little shoulder burn bend extend beautiful last two we'll make this a turbo dog so it looks the same to start you bend the elbows out and then curl them in like you're coming to a dolphin shape hovering the elbows and then straighten the arms bend them out wide curl them in then straighten just two more bend them wide curl them in hello triceps last one bend curl them into a hover and then this time can you drop to your dolphin press into the palms press into the elbows and start to rock the forehead towards the hands or the crown of the head forward and then back great work just a couple more four three two one from here walk it to a forearm plank you might need to crawl forward if you don't have space left on your mat pushing into the elbows heels towards the back of the mat let's dip the hips over to the right move back through center and switch rainbow the hips side to side pushing down through the elbows feel your obliques start to light up inhale to dip exhale to pull back up through center beautiful just a couple more one more each side come back through center hold and then drop all the way down to the belly untuck the toes reach the arms down by the sides and release the fingers behind you tuck the chin in towards the chest next inhale to lift 
finding your locust pose. Crown of the head forward, toes reach to the back of the mat, and can you try to lift the thighs? Beautiful, gently release, hands come underneath the shoulders. Inhale, upward facing dog and pause. On the exhale, gaze over to the right. Feels so good on the obliques. Inhale through center. Exhale, gaze over to the left. Inhale to move through center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, let's lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step, right foot forward in between the hands. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Sweep the arms up, square the hips to the top of the mat, and then try to straighten through the back leg. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. On the exhale, come up to stand, pull the left knee into the chest as you fly the arms back behind you. Inhale to lower, find your crescent lunge. Exhale, stand, pull left knee to chest. Good, again, inhale. And exhale. Woo. Gaze at one point, finding your balance, grounding into your right foot. Use your core to lift the knee. Awesome job. Just a couple more. Last one. Find your crescent, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Kick the right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip, wild thing. Let the left toes straighten back, right toes land, heel is lifted. Reach right fingers towards the top of the mat. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, next inhale, let's float through a side plank. Can you lift right knee up towards right arm? And then on your exhale, plant the right hand, spin over to a side plank on the other side. Right hand plants as right leg crosses over left. Reach left arm by the ear, big breath in. On the breath out, crunch elbow to knee as you bend into the legs. Inhale to extend, exhale crunch. Inhale to extend, exhale crunch. Beautiful, inhale to extend, plant the left hand, kick the right leg back, one-legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Left leg high, inhale. Exhale, step. Crescent, sweep up, breath in. Let's hold for three breaths. Straighten through the back leg. Feel that beautiful stretch in the front of the hip flexor. Reach the fingers up to the sky as the crown of the head lifts. Deep bend into the left knee. Beautiful, let's take a big breath in here. On the breath out, curl knee into chest, arms float behind you. Inhale, crescent, exhale, float. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, find your drishti, use your core, sweep the arms back as you pull your knee up into your chest. Grounding through left foot. We got a couple more. Last one. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Open all the way out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, three-legged dog, left leg to sky. Bend the knee, stack the hip, and flip to your wild thing. 
left foot lands, right leg goes long, left arm sweeps towards the top of the mat, two breaths. Beautiful, next inhale, find side plank. Can you curl left knee up towards left arm? And then on your exhale, plant the left hand as you cross left leg over, right, spin to the other side, reach right arm by the ear, big breath in. Breath out, curl, bending into the knees, crunching into a little ball. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch it in. One more, inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale to extend, exhale, one-legged chaturanga, left leg kicks back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, walk to the back of the mat. Widen the feet, heels and toes out and sit low into a malasana squat. Hands travel to the heart center, chest lifts. Kind of the head lifts. Dig your heels into the mat as you open through the hips. Next, inhale, plant the left hand in front of the foot. Open the right arm. And exhale, hands to heart and switch. Right hand down. Inhale, open left arm. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. Fold at the back of the mat on your breath out. Head goes heavy. Take a moment to enjoy this pause in the forward fold. Beautiful, next inhale, walk yourself back out to a downward facing dog. Land here on the exhale. Inhale to lift the right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale to draw right knee to right elbow, and then take it over to the left, back to the right, like you're drawing a line in between your elbows. Last one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, warrior two, open all the way out. Exhale to sink low into the right knee. On your inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten through the right leg. Tap the right fingers. Inhale, bend into the right knee, reach back, reverse. Exhale, triangle pose, using your core. Beautiful. Couple more. Let's hold triangle this time. Stack left shoulder on top of right. Think about spinning the inner thighs away from the midline as you ground into both feet. On your next inhale, reverse, bend into the right knee. On your exhale, skandhasana, bend into the left knee, come to the back of the mat. Right away, lower all the way down to a seat. Take the right hand to the left ankle. Sweep the left arm by the ear and then find a big side bend over the right leg. Opening up through left side obliques, it feels so good. Modification is to slide left foot in and just find a side bend. Beautiful, all right. Coming out the same way we came in. Come through, Skandasana. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, Chaturanga. Right leg can stay lifted. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, hold. Take it over to the right. Back to the left. Couple times. Drawing the line in between the elbows. Last one. Inhale to lift, three-legged. Exhale, step forward. 
Warrior two, windmill all the way open right away. Sink low. Inhale, reverse, reach back, big stretch. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, triangle. Good. Keep breathing. This always feels so good. One of my absolute favorite little sequences. Press into the feet and use your core to keep the chest broad. Let's hold this triangle. Left hand down, right arm lifts to the sky, push into the feet, spiral the heart open. And then inhale, reverse, bend into the left knee. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Come all the way down. Left hand to right, shin and ankle. Reach right arm over the head this time. Inhale, we'll come out the same way we came in. Landing in warrior two. Chaturanga, kick left leg back, upward facing to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, right leg to sky, exhale, pigeon. Right shin across the top of the mat. Lower down onto your hips. And then walk the fingers forward when you arrive in your shape. Figure four is a great modification if the knees don't love pigeon. And you find a moment of stillness wherever you are. A moment of deep intentional breathing. Of coming back and listening to what your body needs at this moment in time. And then on your inhale, press back up onto the hands, tuck the left toes, step back to down dog. You can kick the right leg out and shake it if that feels good. And we'll switch sides. Left leg to sky. Draw it in. Slip it forward for pigeon. Come on to left hip. And then lower yourself over the left leg. Eventually pressing back up onto the hands when you feel ready. Tuck the right toes under, send the hips back. Kicking left leg out and then coming back to your down dog. Drop the knees to the mat. Come to a comfortable, easy seat. Sitting up tall, closing the eyes down. 
Great, hand goes down towards the right side and then inhale, left arm up by the ear as you find a side bend. Move back through center and switch sides. Left hand lands, reach the right arm up and overhead. Float that a couple times on your own. Stretching through the obliques one more time. Last one. And then find a twist to the right. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind to support. And exhale to twist. Draw back through center and switch. Left hand behind. Come back through center, take both hands to the knees and then just take a couple of circles. Taking the chest down, bending into the elbows. Switching the direction. And then come back through center. On your inhale, puff your chest forward. On your exhale, curl everything in, chin to chest, rounding the back. Two more, inhale to open. Exhale to curl. Last one, inhale to open. Exhale to curl. Beautiful, come back through center. An option to stay in the seated meditation with me or move to Shavasana on your back. Wherever you land, close the eyes back down once you arrive. And allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. So moving from the intentional breathing that we've carried throughout class into that subconscious breath that keeps you going day after day. Feel your points of contact with the earth if you're in a seat, your glutes, your sit bones, your legs, your feet. If you're all the way down in Shavasana, the whole posterior chain Connecting with the ground beneath you. Calling in that sense of contentment, completeness in this moment. That you came to your mat, you showed up, you gave everything that you had today. So can you simply be here on your mat without anything tangible to do? In these moments where we're not really doing anything, quote unquote, is where the body has a chance to restore, the nervous system has a chance to recalibrate, And these moments of doing nothing do so much for the rest of our day, for the rest of our life. Taking these moments and pause to be present helps to build that practice. And little by little, our yoga practice makes its way into our daily life. And we can find these little moments of pause, even if it's chaos in our normal life, in our daily life. We can find our breath, we can ground because of these tools that we've practiced, cultivated on our mat.
option is stay here if the Shavasana feels really good today or this meditation feels really good. If you're ready to come out, let's take a deep breath in together. Fill all the way up. And exhale, let it go. Start to wiggle fingers and toes wherever you are. Make your way to a seat if you were on your back or drawing your hands to your heart if you were in a seat. We'll all meet hands to heart, palms pressing into each other for one last moment of gratitude for making the time to show up and do something for you today. Let's take a collective deep breath in together. And the biggest sigh out of the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Blink the eyes open. Great work. I hope you absolutely loved this class. As always, please let me know down below in the comments if you did. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps to support me and I appreciate you all so, so much. And if you want more classes with me, you may or may not know I have an app called The Glow Method, 300 plus classes just like this, and yoga sculpt, Pilates, bar, vinyasa, creative flows over there, seven day free trial if you're a new member. So links down in the description and I will see you in my next video. Bye.